today we will see electric wiring diagram of a 66 kV circuit breaker basic concepts here the wiring diagram is shown but it seems to be complex so let us simplify it one by one starting from the top here comes the switch which is used to remote and local our wiring now if we will see closely that S12 switch is connected is shown by the dashed line means whenever the switch changes its position its contact will get changed that is NO will get NC and NC will turn into NO which we will see later on in this diagram it is the TNC switch trip neutral close switch switch shape or design can be different but the logic will remain same this switch is used for closing or tripping the circuit breaker manually motor limit switch it is operated by the motion of spring charging motor means when the spring is charged it will be in closed position and when the spring is not charged it will be in open position now as we move down we will see k1 here k1 is an anti pumping relay contacts of this relay are shown by the dotted line means whenever the this relay is energized it will change its contacts whatever the contacts are no will turn into nc and nc will turn into no the function of anti pumping relay is to prevent continuous dc to the closing coil and thereby protecting it from getting burnout or getting faulty by freewheeling the current after the close operation next is the auxiliary contact depending upon the requirement auxiliary contact can be 3 6 or much more here the auxiliary contacts are shown by the dashed line if you look closely some contacts are NO and some are NC means whenever there is a switching operation that is closing or tripping of circuit breaker it will change its position means NO will turn into NC and NC will become NO next is the coil this coil is used as tripping coil and closing coil here closing coil is shown in red color and tripping coil is shown in green color for understanding purpose so when the closed circuit is completed the closing coil gets energized and closes the circuit breaker similarly when the tripping circuit is completed the tripping coil gets energized and the circuit breaker gets tripped in the next video we will see how the closing circuit is completed and the closing coil is energized so the circuit breaker closes so keep on like subscribe and share for more upcoming videos